If you call it the short stuff, you oppose its reality. If you do not call it a short stuff, you ignore the fact. Now what do you wish to call it? You have to call it both. You see, you are living as the bodied one. Hmm? That identification does exist for you. Just as your material body is a fact, you cannot ignore the fact of the short stuff. Hmm? A short stake, a short cane or something, the short stuff that a monk carries. So you cannot say, no, this is not a short stuff. It is. You have to respect the fact. But you cannot stop at the fact. It is a short stuff only with respect to your body. How do you know it is short? Would a little ant call it short? Would a little insect call it short? If you were not the body, would the staff even exist for you? It exists only in the same dimension as the brain. It is your brain that comprehends the material reality of the object. Will any software work without its compiler? Here is the compiler. The compiler and the software go together. The staff does not exist at all if the brain were not configured in the way it is. So even as you accept the fact that it is a staff, you also know that it is a staff only with respect to me. If I keep saying it is a staff, it is a staff, it is a staff, it is a staff, what does that amount to? It amounts to constantly saying, I am the body, I am the body, I am the body. Because it is a staff only with respect to your body. Therefore, those who get stuck at the level of the fact are actually getting stuck at the level of the body. That's the problem with science. It keeps saying this exists, this exists, this exists. And surely it does exist. But this exists only with respect to my hand, my body, my comprehension, my senses, my brain. Right? So if I keep saying this exists, this exists, this exists, I am continuously saying I am the body, I am the body, I am the body, I am the body. Therefore, whereas one has to respect the fact that this exists, be it a short staff or a white hanky, same thing. Whereas one has to respect that they exist, one has to also remember that their existence is not final, not absolute. It is relative to you. If you insist too much upon its existence, you are insisting too much upon your bodily self and then you will never get freedom. So this is like your current reality, just as the body is your current reality, right? We are currently body identified. Just as we are currently body identified, so currently, yes, this exists. But the story cannot stop at the fact. The story has to go beyond the fact. Beyond the fact is the truth. You have to know both, where you are currently standing and where you wish to be. Currently, I am standing at the level of this and at the level of this. These two are one. This exists for the body. This is my current standing. But this is not my destination. A point must come where it exists only with respect to the body, not with respect to me. When nobody must remain, to definitely and conclusively say this 
is a white hanky. Let this be a white hanky for the body. You have gone. You are somewhere else. That's the way to live. Knowing the fact, but also knowing that you do not belong to the fact. The fact cannot be ignored. If you ignore the fact, then you are entering the realm of superstition. You have to live scientifically. You have to be logical. So you must respect the fact. The pillar does exist. The wall does exist. The body does exist. If you say the body does not exist, you are being a hypocrite. Because that's how you behave. Day in and day out as a body, right? Behaving as a body and then not admitting the body is hypocrisy. So you do admit that this exists, the short staff exists, the body exists. But you do not stop at that. That's how the spiritual one lives. Knowing the world, seeing the world, acknowledging the world, but not belonging to the world. Knowing fully well that his destination is somewhere else. And that does not mean that he is dismissive or disrespectful towards the world. I am repeatedly saying, one has to respect the world. Otherwise, it would be hypocritical. Hmm? Being present here, in time and space, but continuously, parallelly, present elsewhere also. Or, to put it differently, being present here in time and space, also parallelly absent to whatever is going on here in time and space. Present to it and also absent to it. Superficially present to it, deeply absent to it. Huh? Superficially here, deeply somewhere else. Where? Nowhere. But on the surface, you have to be here. If you are not here, even at the surface, then that is not spirituality. Then you are a lunatic. The spiritual man is present to the world. He knows the difference between red and blue. He knows how to drive a car. He knows which road to take. He is present to the world. But deeply, he is absent. Deep within him is a point that does not know the world at all. Deep within him is a point that has no value for the world, that does not transact with the world at all. Getting it?